Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Shampoo here. And um yeah, this is a video response to uh Redemption 305 uh about these consoles and everything. Um about you know saying hundred percent honesty about these consoles. But yeah, uh let's get this shit going. Um now his video basically said everything pretty much how it should have been said but there is one thing that I have to disagree with him on but I mean I, I'm pretty sure he, he meant this but uh but I'm gonna go ahead and kinda you know draw it out a little bit um me personally like cause I believe he said like the PlayStation has hardware Xbox has software you know shit like that but uh me personally I think the PlayStation has hardware and software while the 360 just has software um, because you know the PlayStation uh, yet yeah, I, I won't really say anything about oh it's more powerful shit like that but it's just more reliable man when you're someone like me that's been through so many Xboxes it's just a lot more reliable and not just for me but for the masses of people out there there are some people such as uh, like Black Bond that have been a little unfortunate with their PlayStations so you know they get fed up with it and they're like uh, forget it I'll try next gen I completely understand that that's cool uh, I was the same way with the Xbox hey it happened to me it is what it is but uh but with the PlayStation scale with you know the wide variety of you know a wide amount of people out there it's not as uh it's not as common um but uh but yeah the PlayStation is, is definitely more reliable and you know like the, I just love the, having the blue play, the blu-ray player in it and then from from the jump from the launch it already had everything in the console that I needed it's not like I had to buy anything extra or nothing it was already in there ready set to go um so it's 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 a beast <laughs> but uh you know it, it also has the software too um the games I mean come on you, you're talking about classic games the best games I've played this generation have been on the PlayStation hands down and as y'all know I do have an Xbox it's not like I don't have one I have all three of the consoles so I mean I, I've experienced pretty much every game there is to experience on every console every game that I should uh, be playing uh, there's only like two or three games for the 360 that I have yet to play and there are pretty recent games such as Alan Wake, Splinter Cell he, and um, I've always wanted to try out Tales of Vesperia I always heard that was a good game but anyways let me get back to this PlayStation thing this, it, it definitely has software also I mean it has the most un unforgettable games that i played this gen Metal Gear Solid 4 hands down beast then you got Heavy Rain hands down beast Uncharted 2 on top of that hands down monster like those three games alone are Goliaths. They're they're fantastic games that gave give, gave me something as a gamer that I've never experienced nowhere else on any other gaming platform. Period. Those games are are, are amazing. And then those are just three games, and they're all on this one console. And that's not even including the fact about like the Ratchet and Clank series. Then you got Valkyria Chronicles. Demon Souls, Killzone 2. I mean, the list literally does go on and on for these great PlayStation titles. But when I go over to the Xbox, you know, I just think the Xbox just has software, uh, and it's it's not and it's not really too much. When I say software, I don't even really mean too much in the games area. I mainly mean that in in their online service. Um, their online service is great it is definitely great it definitely does add perks to the games when you're playing your game single player or multiplayer such as the features that you were talking about that just the the conveniency and the and the ease of it you know it makes everything so much more fluent with the the voice messaging when you don't have to type nothing you can just you know hit the voice message boom say it send it it's done you know, you don't have to wait for no long ass response, no nothing like that. It's all right there. Um, you know, the uh, the party chats, all that stuff, all that is convenience. You know, uh, that shit is fucking awesome. 
Um, it's something that I've been talking about for a while, and you know, it's, it's, it's cool to see. Uh, it's cool to see somebody go ahead and uh, be mainly PS3. You get a 360, and then they're like, okay, yeah, I, I, I can see this now. You know, it, it shows. You know, it shows that. I mean, come on, we're, we're playing games, the game, but each one does have its perks. They really do. Um, if anybody wants to hate on the 360 console itself as far as the hardware, feel free to go ahead and do that. You know, I, I have nothing against that because, you know, <laughs> like I said, y'all know my history with it and y'all know the renowned problems with it. So I got no problem with that. But the online service and Xbox Live and uh, there are a few titles which like, you know, like for me, Gears of War. Wow. Gears of War. I do want to play Alan Wake. I'm pretty sure that's a very good game. I heard that was very scary. And, um... Wow. I do want to play Splinter Cell, like I said, in Tales of Vesperia. But, I mean, I've played games like Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon let me down a lot. Lost Odyssey, I was really... I was hyped up as hell for that game. But then it let me down, too. I thought it was okay. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Um... I don't know, there's really not, like, you know, there's really not too many games for the 360 that I, that I get excited about that I'm, that I really think is a great game, you know, but when I think about the PlayStation, I'm like, wow, these titles are great, but they're not great, they're really damn good, you know, but the, but like I said, Xbox Live, the service is awesome, it is awesome, whether people think you should be paying $50 for it or not, that's completely up to you. Me personally, I love the way that PlayStation does it. They let you play your games online for free. It's not like people, you know, they're, like they're making you to pay that 50 bucks. So I, I that, that's, that's fucking awesome. Xbox Live should definitely change their service up so that you get all these perks and stuff if you pay that 50 and they should let you just play online for free. But I, I'm not sure if that's really gonna happen. Um, the other thing is like the PlayStation Store. I mean, when you look at the PlayStation Store, I mean, you have like PlayStation One classics. That in its own is amazing. Uh, to have original PlayStation games at your disposal that are beast ass games in its own, except for just having you know uh, just regular you know arcade titles and stuff like that, or arcade hits, which the PlayStation gets also. So I mean. I don't know, man. It's 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 really hard to say uh, with the online services. You know, it's it's just with the perks of the the little perks that you get with live that that make it seem better than the, than PSN. You know that that like I said, that ease of use and that convenience factor is what really plays in when you have Xbox Live. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to say. Everything else he said in this vid is pretty much spot on. You know, I prefer the PS3. Y'all know that. Uh, it is what it is. The only game that I'm really looking forward to is Gears of War 3 on the 360. I'm not looking forward to anything else. Nothing sparks my interest. You know, there's really nothing that I particularly want on the 360 besides Alan Wake, Splinter Cell, I'm going to wait on Tales of Vesperia because I'm hearing that it's coming to the PS3 maybe this fall or at the end of this year or something. If I don't hear nothing about it at all by the end of this year, then I'm just going to get it for the 360. And um, it is what it is. But uh, alright y'all, this is Champ and I am out of here. Peace. Oh yeah, one last thing too. Uh, I remember he mentioned something about like getting in party chats if you're playing like a story mode driven game, you know, single player game and stuff. Yeah, most of the times when I'm playing a single player game, I don't even get in uh, party chats on Xbox Live. Uh, this is when I was on live. I don't play for live right now uh, because there's just too many people talking. If it's like three or four people in there is cool but you know when you got like a full room everybody's talking I don't want to be in that bitch or you know you could just put down the volume but I mean I, I just stay out of it entirely uh, but if I'm in a multiplayer game it's cool but even when I'm doing that there's still too many people fucking talking you know 
I feel that I can't have a good conversation. It's a, it's the same thing when you're uh, I don't know out and about anywhere. You can't have a good conversation if everybody is talking. And then when you're in one of those and you're talking, someone else like tries to talk. It's like God damn it, wait. You know, it's, it's always like that, man. It's like shit. You know, but it is what it is. Uh, that's why I kind of liked the whole PlayStation idea of only having like four to six or something like that. Hopefully they don't they don't make it to have too many people in a party chat because it's just, it's just gonna be way too many people trying to talk at one fucking time. But uh, but anyways, that's it. I'm out. Peace.